Good morning! Excuse the mess of my hair. I actually did not bring a blow dryer with me. So today we are going to the JFK Presidential Library. I've been to, I think, two presidential libraries. I've been to the Reagan one in California and the Lincoln one in Illinois. Very excited to learn more about this president in such a significant time in history. I feel like JFK is another one of the, the big, <laughs> big presidents. I mean, they're, they're all big, obviously, because they all made decisions that have affect how we live today, for lack of a better way of saying that. So that's what's happening. Uh, I'm just getting ready for the day. I'm also very excited because I went to wash off my glasses this morning because I thought I need to wash my glasses before I go out again. And then I was like, wait, my contacts came in. It's going to be a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be 60, 65 and very sunny. Okay, so I have to show this to you guys while this is happening. Yeah, so the first night that that happened, I definitely thought there was a mouse in here hiding behind the wall. So I went out to sleep on the couch because it startled me and I was like, I need to get sleep. This was like four o'clock in the morning. So I went out and I'm in the living room and I heard the same noise and I was like, this is weird. And then it dawned on me and my California heart, that's the radiator. <laughs> so definitely had a stupid Californian moment there. We don't have those in California. Not sure what that's all about. <laughs> Actually I do. It's about heat, which is very important. But before we head out, I need to figure out my keyboard situation. I currently don't have one here to practice on. I left my keyboard in California. I gotta decide if I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy this Roland that I really want, or if I'm just gonna go with the Yamaha that I found on Craigslist. I mean, decisions, right? I majorly, majorly need to practice. Okay, so we have this Yamaha P45, which someone actually suggested to me because I asked what they had been using and they said that this one worked fine. Uh, I have to be able to connect main stage to it also because I'm messing around in main stage and trying to learn that technology. So there's that. The other one I'm looking at is a used, mind you I'm on a budget, used Roland FP10, which I watched a YouTube video about this keyboard and it looks like there's a lot of features. That's what I'm looking for. There's a lot of features that I could make use of. Like you can download an app on your phone and then manipulate the sound of the keys through your phone. So that seems pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let me make some decisions. Well, this day promises to be gorgeous already. That's really all I wanted to say. <laughs> gorgeous um i was gonna get on the shuttle bus but then this guy was like this bus goes there too so i was like okay and all of a sudden we get to this random stop i'm like i have no clue where we are and he starts like yelling at me like get off here and i was like okay so we are almost there now just walking along this gorgeous path and uh yeah that should be it up there <laughs> I believe we are finally on the right track. As you enter into the JFK Library and Museum, well, the museum portion of the library? I don't know. They take you into this theater where you sit down and you watch a brief little film about John F. Kennedy. Now this tells basically his backstory, where he grew up, where he went to school, all of that. And this theater then leads you into an exhibit that goes straight into his campaign and all of that. So it was really interesting that they started at the beginning of his life with the film and then let you off into the museum right when the campaigning started. 
I loved looking at everything from this era. I mean, I love everything about the fashion and the style and the music of the 1960s. And it was really interesting to dive into the political climate of the time. Kennedy's campaign is one of the most famous and the most uh, talked about, I guess you could say. What struck me immediately upon entering was that through the overhead speakers, they're playing all of the campaign songs written for Kennedy, which are very much in the style of the time, obviously. It was funny. It was literally like listening to an old Broadway album with the way that the music was structured. They actually had this screening room where you could watch the Kennedy-Nixon debate, which was fascinating. I have never sat down to watch that debate. And since it was the first televised debate, it was quite interesting. Good evening. The television and radio stations of the United States and their affiliated stations are proud to in particular I just love. It's a photo of Kennedy and watching the live results of the presidential debate. And then you have the grand photo of when Kennedy was sworn into office and this blew my mind. This is the family bible and this is what John F. Kennedy wanted to use when he was being sworn in. And then you are taken into a room, not taken, I mean, you walk there, you're not forced in there, obviously. And you go straight into Kennedy's time in office. There were so many different things in this area, a lot of gifts that were given to JFK and Jackie Kennedy. There's this huge photo of when Pablo Casals played at the White House. What is this? Oh, this is a letter from Pablo Casals saying like, hey, thanks for having me. I love the joy in Jackie Kennedy's face. Look at JFK. Honestly, he's like, please can this concert be over? <laughs> Then we head into all of the archives from some of the space missions. If you'll excuse me, I am not a historian, so I don't quite know all of the language and the lingo associated with this, but um, I'm trying. I just love Jackie Kennedy's style. I love all of the toys, and I love how the 60s were very fascinated by space travel as it was around the time that Neil Armstrong first set foot on the moon, and we didn't know a lot about space. I also love this photo of JFK and Jackie Kennedy talking in one of the hallways in the White House. I don't know, it's just so classic. They had another movie theater where you could watch a documentary on the Cuban Missile Crisis. Very interesting, literally felt like a television show, but to think that this is real life and real people and real missiles we're talking about was absolutely terrifying. This is one of Jackie Kennedy's dresses and again, what can I say? I'm obsessed. And of course, these are some of my favorite items in the museum. Uh, these are from when the White House would bring in some entertainment. So they had the ballet, um, Aaron Copeland. So I found all of these different programs and uh, it was just really interesting to see who visited the White House and who performed at the White House because we hear like, you know, Leonard Bernstein was very close with the Kennedys and Frank Sinatra was very close with the Kennedys and so was Peter Lawford. <laughs> he literally married a Kennedy. This exhibit was dedicated completely to Jackie Kennedy and uh, she's just so cool. Jackie Kennedy's just so cool. Ambition not to be a housewife. Love that. Isn't this view just absolutely lovely? I love how they designed this. And then at the very end of the center, you walk through this hallway that has the news broadcast that was playing when Kennedy was shot. And it's, I, I love how they didn't make it such a huge focus. The focus was on his life rather than his assassination. Now, this is an exhibit all about the Kennedy children and the gifts that people gave them and some cartoons that were made about them. And it was just really interesting to dive into what it was like to be a kid in the White House at the time. 
Oh my goodness, so that was incredible. I'm just sitting in this little sitting area outside of the museum and library, which is up there. Um, I learned so much. It is really interesting because I have yet to really dig into the life of JFK. I mean, we all know about the assassination and everything, but it Delta have you used your sky panels? can you hear me now it was just really cool to dive into topics like the Cuban Missile Crisis and the campaign journey and uh, I mean I I knew from a Frank Sinatra documentary how much he supported JFK and how much that, that JFK had the entertainment industry for support for his campaign. And I just think that's super interesting. The campaign songs that were written, uh, just super, super interesting as well. Also, Jackie Kennedy, such a badass. One of my favorite things, I think it was her graduation, like from her yearbook or something. It said, what do you wanna be remembered for? Something to that extent, I'll pull it up for accuracy. Uh, and she said, I want to not be a housewife. Just her style and everything, like I see why she was all the rage in the 60s. One thing that I absolutely adore about this area is that you can smell the ocean air and my California heart is very happy about that. My first view of the Atlantic Ocean on this trip, so.